Welcome back, everyone, to an introduction to programming with Scratch. And last time, we took a look at the fundamentals of programming, putting together a sequence of instructions that we called functions by assembling these different colored Scratch blocks. And by putting together these different colored Scratch blocks, we were able to bring our projects to life. We were able to take characters or sprites on the stage and have them move around or draw pictures and play sound and more. And so today, let's take those concepts of programming and build upon them a little bit more. I'll go ahead and open up Scratch again. And let's start with a program that we've seen before. I'll go ahead and go into the looks section of the blocks and pull out this say hello for two seconds block. And as you might recall, when I click on this block to run this stack or script of code, you'll see that my cat over on the stage says hello for two seconds and then it stops. And so that seems to work well. But notice that in order to run this program, I had to click on the code that I wanted the cat to run. And that might be fine, but if you've used programs on your computer or on your phone before,、uh, then you probably haven't specifically told the program which part of the code you want it to run when. You open up an app and some code runs, or you click a button and some code runs, or you type something onto your keyboard and some code runs. You're not specifically pointing to what lines of code in a program you generally want to run. And one other problem here might be what might happen if I have multiple scripts across multiple sprites, maybe. Imagine that it's not just the cat saying hello, but the cat talking to, let's pick another sprite. Let's pick the dinosaur. So I'll go into animals and choose the dinosaur. And maybe I want these two to say hello to each other. So I'll move it so that the cat and the dinosaur are next to each other. And I want to turn the dinosaur around so that they're facing each other. And I can do that, recall, by going into the direction for the dinosaur and having it face the left instead of facing、uh, the right. And now it seems like the dinosaur is upside down, so I just need to remember to change the rotation style to left and right instead of all around. And so now the cat and the dinosaur are facing each other. And if I want them both to say hello to each other, well, then this dinosaur, notice the dinosaur is now selected, is also going to need a block that lets it say hello. So I'll also give it a block that says say hello for two seconds. But now if I want the cat to say hello to the dinosaur, well, then I'll need to go to the cat. Click the say hello block, but then very quickly click on the dinosaur and click say hello too, so that they can both say hello to each other. It was a bit tedious for me to have to quickly jump back and forth between two sprites. And you could imagine that at a more complex project where a sprite might have multiple different scripts that we want to run, or you might have many more sprites, it's not going to be possible for me to, in any reasonable amount of time, go to all of the different sprites and start up all of the different blocks that I want to run. It would be better if I could just say, let's start the project. And when the project starts, then I want all of these scripts of code to run automatically. And we can do just that via this.